Hello. In an ironic twist of fate, Nigel Farage has picked up the baton the BMP dropped. You, Nigel Farage, you're now the new bad guy. Some are calling a racist. You're now the guy that's taken on the liberal elite political class mass media. You're the new bad guy. You have picked up the baton, the BMP dropped. Even though you tried to appease the enemies of Britain by announcing on TV, you single-handedly destroyed the BMP. Hasn't made them leave you alone, has it? How naive, Mr Farrar. Did you really believe you joined in chorus with the enemies of Britain in attacking the BMP? They'd leave you alone. I hope you're learning watching these videos, Mr Farrar. I hope you really are. I'm sure you are, unlike Nick Griffin. In fact... The person who single-handedly destroyed the BMP was Nick Griffin. Not you, Mr Farage. Nick Griffin. He was warned for at least five years that, hope not, hate agents Adam Walker, Clive Jefferson and many others had infiltrated the BMP and were going to take it from him or bring it down. In the end, they took it from him. He handed over the most successful British Nationalist Party in history over to hope not hate and its two agents, Adam Walker. And Clive Jefferson. But the only difference, Mr. Farage, between you and Nick Griffin and the BMP is you don't have the baggage. So, so they have to treat you with respect. You still command respect, so use that as best you can because it's going to go, and I'll tell you why. As the betrayal becomes nearer and more blatant, you're going to have to step out the little playpen, cross the line like Joe Owen suggests. Rip up the rule book, spit in the fucking eye, and shout out loud and clear, come on, let's have it. You're going to have to take them on. You're going to have to boot them out of number 10 and get in there yourself if you want to save Brexit and save our beloved Great Britain. Because these treacherous swines, if they get away with selling Brexit out, then they'll be going for the kill because... They'll be get, they can get away with anything then. What else can they do? Well, exactly. And who's going to stop them? Well, exactly. Right? We can't allow this to happen because, trust me, they will be going for the kill. Right? And in an ironic twist of fate, you have picked up the ban, the BMP drop. Even though you condemn the, belief, the BMP in the false belief, you'd be left alone. How ironic. Do you know what, Mr Farage and other patriots watching this video... I was reading the Morning Star yesterday. The Morning Star up in arms. It's about Manny Shinwell, a Jewish Labour MP, far left, no doubt communist. Uh, Morning Star was uh, saying the uh, MI5 had him under surveillance and he was viewed as a security risk. Well, even more worrying and bizarre, this security risk, which I'm sure he was, like many other Jewish communists in Britain at that time, uh, Manny Shinwell was Defence Minister in charge of troops going to Malaya fighting communist bandits and troops going to Korea fighting Chinese-backed Korean army? Why would you have someone like that in charge of your defence when he, his loyalties lie with the communist bandits in Malaya and the Reds in Korea? But my point being why I've brought this up is that the treachery stems from... Decades ago, Mr. Farrar, the only difference now is these swines don't have to infiltrate anything. They don't have to send coded messages back to Moscow. They're doing it blatantly right in front of us, and they don't care. And if they get away with betraying Brexit, then they'll be gone for the kill, trust me. So, in an ironic twist of fate, Mr. Farrar, you've picked up the baton the BMP dropped. Okay, thank you.